Hey everybody, I'm going to do a new uh, video. This one will be IDW. Look at this one. Love Star Trek. This will be like the mirror universe. Look at Deanna Troy and Commander Riker. Number two. Picard. The ships are different and everything. I forgot this guy's name. But I used to love to watch this show and you know, watch the old episodes and everything. Let's get on to this. This one's Star Trek. The Mirror War, number one. This will be the gym of the month. Here's the cover here. This will be something I think I'm going to pick this one up. I'd like to check this one out. Okay, we got... Uh, it comes out in October. Return to the Mirror Universe of the Next Generation with this brand new series from writers David and Scott Tipton where familiar faces and exciting new surprises await around every corner. To conquer the mirror universe, Captain Picard must first seize, seize control of the ship-building planet of Fondoril. Or is it Fondori? There it is. I think that's an exclamation point. The only problem, Fondori is inside Klingon Cardassian Alien Alliance territory. Uh-oh. Klingons don't like you coming in their area there. They don't like you around their space. Okay. Variant covers here. All right. Then we got Transformers. Wreckers, Tread, and Circuits, number one of four. You got a variant here, or a main cover here. Everybody's happy. Yeah, gym in a month here as well. So let me see what this one is. Um, this is October as well. Out in the Cyber Cybertronian colonies, good entertainment is hard to find. Fortunately, there's always the wreckers, brave Cybertronians broadcasting death-defying stunts and action. All is a cover for undercover operations. When the only event bigger than a new wreckers broadcast, the Speedy of 500. A race for governmental control of a whole world is threatened. The Wreckers have a new mission. Save the most viewed race in the galaxy without getting caught. Wreck and rule. <laughs> now we got the, uh, some artwork here. Pretty nice artwork. I, I want to get some of the, the Marvel books too that have these have their oh, all the superheroes in the suits and everything like this they look like robots so okay and this one's animal stories there's a cover right there that's different 176 pages it comes out in december what separates us from animals what connects us award-winning cartoonist peter and maria hui probe these mysteries across six surreal and interconnected stories. After tremendous acclaim for their series Coin Ops comics, two brilliant creators present their first graphic novel, a menagerie of wild tales. Pushing the boundaries of their dazzling and unique narrative style, Animal Stories weaves together six short stories exploring the mysterious relationships between humans and other animals. Okay. A girl who keeps pigeons starts receiving messages from a new bird in her flock. A ship's crew rescues a dog, only to find far stranger things in the sea around them. A reincarnated cat with criminal intentions. Oh, that's different. A parrot who leads a revolution. And a squirrel who tempts a woman in a beautiful garden glade. Drawing inspiration from Aesop's fables, film noir, and the Old Testament, Peter and Maria Hui apply their singular and sophisticated visual storytelling to create a new set of modern animal tales for modern times. Okay, what's it say? Peter and Maria Hui are among the very best illustrators in comics. Rob Claw, Clow, high low. All right, now we got Bermuda, number four, four. Okay, that looks wild. That's cool artwork, too. Nick Bradshaw. Comes out in October. The epic conclusion is at hand. Can Bermuda and her friends survive? Can the world even survive? 
The door between dimensions is finally open, thanks to the science of our world and the sorcery of Bermudas. Now both worlds are threatened, and the only hope for either is the, the brave 16-year-old island adventurer known as Bermuda. A high seas island adventure with plenty of dark ma magicians and strange monsters. It looks as amazing as you'd expect given Brad Shaw's involvement, Comic Con. Destined to become one of this, this summer's hottest hits, sci fi. All right. Now we got Dungeons and Dragons, Mindbreaker, number one of five. Cool. Comes out in October. The prelude to the much anticipated video game Baldur's Gate 3 begins here. Changed by their experiences in Avernus, Cradle, Shandy, Delina, Neris, Mintz, and Boo return home to Baldur's Gate to find that something much more insidious has taken root. What could be behind the odd behavior of the head librarian of the knowledge held or knowledge hold? Okay, now we got G.I. Joe, Real American Hero, number 87, or 287. Let's see. Let me clear something off my screen there. Somebody texted me. Okay. Here's the cover there. Freddie Williams II. Love his artwork. This comes out in October. Okay, so you've been recruited into the world's most elite fighting force for freedom. You're one of the best of the best warriors the planet has to offer. You're ready to join the fight, but before you can step onto the battlefield, you first have to step into the pit. <laughs> join living legend Larry Hama and artist Billy Penn as they show you what the first days of a brand new Joe are like through the eyes of newbies, Molto, Black Hat, and Sherlock. This month, it's time to, you guessed it, spotlight the newbies. Features the second of five interconnecting covers, 286 to 290, by superstar artist Freddie Williams II. Cool. Okay, now we got another superstar artist. That's cool. Rob Liefeld. He's going to be doing the art and the cover and the writing. Snake Eyes, Dead Game, Declassified. Available in October. Peer behind the mask of G.I. Joe's superstar Ninja Commando and see what made Rob Liefeld's Snake Eyes dead game into a phenomenon. Never before seen material from throughout the five issue limited series fill this one of a kind edition from sketches, layouts, and designs to an unbelievable look at the phenomenal inks over Liefeld's dynamic pencils from artists like Neil Adams, Ryan Otley, Wills Protatio, Ed Piscar, or Piscor, Tom Scioli, Merritt Michaels, Jerry Ordway, Dan Fraga, Kevin Eastman, and more. That's cool. 48 pages. That'll be something to get. I think I'll make sure I get that too. I just love art stuff like that. I know it gets a lot of, gets a lot of flack for some of his stuff, but he's, he, Rob's got a style that he draws awesome posters and everything like that. And when he draw, when he's really on it, he'll draw some nice layouts and stuff like that too. But um, I, I like that. That's really nice. I like that. He did this. Somebody, he did the pencils I'm under who did the... Um, the, the inks and everything over top of that. That's really cool. Okay. Now we got G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero, Volume 25, Untold Tales. Is that Lady J? No, that's not Lady J. That's the bad girl. What's her name? Let's see if we can... I gotta... I don't even... I forget what her name is. Uh, the, oh, what's her name? The... Oh, I forgot it. Hopefully it's in there. Let's see, let me read this and see what's going on. I forget her name. You think you've seen it all, but these stories reveal never-before-told adventures of your favorite heroes and villains. Plus, join the Joes on a different type of adventure, a murder mystery. And Untold Tales take an extended look behind some of the most important monuments or moments in G.I. Joe history through the eyes of some of your favorite characters. You join Snake Eyes, Scarlet, Stalker, and Torpedo in a desperate mission to Crucial Abysmia. Experience the counter-assault in the pit with MP Law and his sidekick Order. Feel the frigid temperatures of Fusenland 
with snow job, blizzard, iceberg, cover girl, frostbite, and low light. <laughs> These names fly with ace and slipstream on a mission against the Terradrome. And be wary of the bespectacled, beautiful, brilliant, and there's the name, and bombastic Baroness. That's it. I knew it. Was, I was, almost had it. There he is. Okay, then in the aftermath of the chaotic events of Snake Hunt, Volume 24, the Joes are in a tough spot with the brass in Washington, D.C. Called to testify before a confidential subcommittee intent on investigating the off-the-books mission, a small group of Joes find themselves embroiled in an entirely different kind of investigation, the murder mystery kind, featuring brand new Joes Sherlock, Molto, and Black Hat in Murder by Assassination. Collects G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero, issues number 276 to 285. All right. Now we got My Little Pony, Generations All, number one. There it is. <laughs> Let's see. This comes out in October. A brand new pony adventure begins here, encompassing generations both old and new. When G.I. was that G1? I'm reading G.I. Joe. G1 and friendship is magic collide. Okay. A long time ago, an evil witch named Hidia sought to destroy pony kind. Now her granddaughters, Grackle and Dyer, are back to finish the job. Man, evil never dies. But good, hopefully, will conquer in the end. It will. Okay, with the School of Friendship overloaded with students, Starlight, Glimmer, and the main six reach out for help. Enter Violet Shiver. Violet Shiver. Shadow Storm and Black Bell. But these ponies aren't quite what they seem. In fact, they're working for Gracko and Dyer. Wow. With their sights set on revenge and a brand new smooze on hand, the young witches and their dastardly creations are ready to cause some mayhem. Wow. That's almost interesting and intriguing enough to get me to want to buy that book. That's number one, too. <laughs> 32 pages. Man. Can kids handle this stuff? Look how cute that is. But, man, they make it like it's like... Wow. Okay, now we got Marvel Action Classics. Spider-Man 2 and 1, number 4. That's an awesome cover there. Okay. This... Coming out in October. In this Marvel Classics 2 and 1, we follow Spidey on dual adventures with a quartet of super special guests. In The Chameleon Strikes, Spider Man goes to enlist in the Fantastic Four, mistakenly believing that they make us a salary. Then Spidey finds himself in hot water and a head on collision with action. Man, I'm sure they get enough money. I'm gonna, I forget how they get paid. Or something just to have their inventions and everything going on and everything. They could probably give them a couple of give them a couple of bucks. <laughs> now we got Sonic the Hedgehog number 46. I have a lot of these books. Okay. In October it comes out. The Road to 50 continues here. Enjoy a 10 issue long adventure leading up to the epic showdown in milestone issue number 50. This is not a drill in trial by fire. Part 2 by Evan Stanley. A forest fire threatens the ecosystem and the campers. Luckily, Amy, Tangle, Jewel, and Belle are there to help. The girls have to forget all of the awkwardness from earlier in the night and work together to save the day. All right. Now we got Star Wars Adventures. Nice cover. Creepy Creatures. Number 11. October. Commanded by Luke Skywalker, Rogue Squadron tangles with the Empire in the Outer Rim. But the young Jedi has more than Imperial TIE fighters to deal with. New recruit Maya Sh Shimor just won't listen to orders. Can the hot-headed pilot learn how to fly as part of a team, or will her need to go it alone lead to disaster? Kevin Scott joins Manuel Bracca, Rocky for the beginning of a two-part X-Wing Adventure, Squad Goals. Then in Bubo's Adventure by Ann Tool and Nick Brookenshire, Brokenshire, Reyes has lost Jabba the Hutt's beloved pet. What's his name? Bubo 
Buboxilar. Buboxilar. They come up with these names. Explore every inch of the filthy hut barge with Reyes as he races to find Bubo. See, they, <laughs> uh, they changed and made it shorter. Before Jabba can toss him off the ship. Yeah, you better find, you better find him. Wow. Okay. Here's the cover for that one. Star Wars Adventures Ghost of Vader's Castle, number three of five. October. Join Kevin Scott, Francesco Francavilla, and a host of classic Star Wars artists in the epic conclusion to Vader's Castle Saga. To the Vader's Castle Saga, Star Wars Adventures Ghost of Vader's Castle is a horror-packed, star-studded five-week event guaranteed to haunt your dreams. In issue number three, catch up with HUD and Skrit. HUD has been dreaming of the spirit of the swamp, a grilled monster, or a guild monster that terrorizes Dagobah. The ghost of Vader's castle are in all corners of the galaxy. Yeah. All right. Okay, now we got Star Wars Adventures, Ghost of Vader's Castle, number four or five. Oh, that's a creepy cover. That looks like Anakin with red eyes as a kid, man. Okay, it's in October as well. Join Cabin Scott, Francesco, Francavilla, and a host of classic Star Wars artists in the epic conclusion to the Vader's Castle saga. Star Wars Adventures Ghost of Vader's Castle is a horror-packed, star-studded five-week event guaranteed to haunt your dreams. In issue four, Lena's dreams are visited by the ghost of the galaxy's most threatening villain. The ghost of Vader's Castle are looming closer. Wow. Okay, now we got Star Wars Adventures Ghost of Vader's Castle number 505. Okay, here's the cover here. All in October. Okay, now we got um, pretty much the same thing. Join Kevin Scott, Francesco Francavilla, and a host of classic Star Wars artists in the epic conclusion to Vader's Castle saga. Star Wars Adventures Ghost of Vader's Castle is a horror-packed Star-studded five-week event, guaranteed to haunt your dreams. In the final Vader's Castle tell, Lena, Hud, and Skrit, and Jackson race to Mustafar to save Milo and Crater. Will the group be able to fight the ghosts that still haunt the castle, or will the galaxy forever be bound to suffer from the wrath of the ghost of Vader's Castle? Hopefully not. They gotta get. They gotta get gone. They gotta get gone. Star Wars: Attack of the Clones graphic novel adaptation. That's the cover there. Now we got, let's see, 999, 72 pages, available in December. Experience the excitement and thrill of the epic Star Wars movies in this young reader friendly adaptation of episode three. That's episode three, no, episode two, and that's an exclamation point. Okay. In the midst of galactic unrest from the growing separatist movement, Jedi Master. Obi-Wan Kenobi and his Padawan, Anakin Skywalker, are dispatched to protect Senator Padme Amidala after, fe after a failed attempt on her life. life. Yeah, what follows is a mission stretching to the farthest corners of the Outer Rim. Master and Apprentice will discover a plot that threatens the entire Republic and see their loyalty loyalties to the Jedi and each other tested like never before. Can Anakin protect those he loves, and can Obi-Wan prevent the outbreak of all-out war? Capturing the galaxy-spanning action of Attack of the Clones, experience Episode 2 as a beautiful graphic novel, combining the epic wonder of Star Wars and stream with streamlined, young, reader-friendly designs. Cool. Okay, now we got Star Wars High Republic number 9. That's a nice cover. Action, action, action. October. The Padawan are off on another mission. The time to Tokodana. This time to Tokodana to assist the lone Jedi defending the local Jedi temple against the ever-growing threat of Nihil. Nihil's. But Court, that's his name, but Court has trouble focusing when he comes face to face with his own past amidst new dangers and old allies. Writer Daniel Jose Older, best-selling author of Star Wars The Last Shot, and artist Tony Bruno bring IDW into the High Republic 
a massive publishing crossover spanning comics and prose. Okay. Now we got Star Wars The High Republic Adventures, The Monster of Temple Peak, number three of four. Comes out in October. Art artwork to be revealed soon, it says. All right. Follow former Jedi turned saber for hire monster hunter Ty York in this adventure-packed High Republic miniseries by Kevin Scott and Rachel Stott. Okay. The time has come. Ty has reached the Gretox or the Gretolls. That's pretty. The Gretox or the Gretolls. I don't know how to. They got that X on there. The Gretolls lair. And now she must do what she does best slay the beast. But during the battle, her rusty force powers trigger a cave in, trapping her and Drewin with the monster as the Gretel. See, now they got it. They got it spelled like as the Gretelax. It's got an A in it this time. Okay, the Gretox layer as the Gretelox. That's something different, maybe. And rock weavers close in on the pair. Ty feels an unexpected presence in the force. Whoa. Okay, maybe they don't have the cover up there because they don't, don't want to give anything away. Okay, now we got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles here. There's a lot of different creatures now. Number 122. Comes out in October. The fallout from the confrontation between the mutant animals and the TMNT continues with many questioning what direction... Mutant Town is headed for. While the Turtles discuss their new path forward, Hobb begins to set his sights on a new target. Baxter Stockman. Wow, that guy's coming back. Okay, April O'Neil. Okay, that's the cover right there. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Best of April O'Neil. Okay, this comes out in October, 100 pages. The Turtles' best friend April is always ready to uncover new danger and help her mutant pals. Dig into this oversized collection and discover the very best April stories from across multiple TMNT publishers. Alrighty. Now we got Teenage Mutant, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Ultimate Collection, number volume six. Whoa, look at that. Cool. 256 pages, black and white, 30 bucks. Comes out in December. A thorough look back at the TMNT's comic book origins from their earliest stories with insightful annotations from co-creators Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. Rediscover the underground roots of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with a special collection of 29 short stories created between 1985 and 1989. Handpicked by Kevin Eastman with over 250 pages of mutated martial arts along martial arts action along with annotations full of original story notes preliminary art, personal photographs, and more following each story. This volume is perfect for fans to relive the glorious days of the Turtles' origins as well as an excellent place for new readers to see where the TMNT phenomenon began. I remember doing stories like this with my friend Chris. We took pictures and different things. He'd pose, different, different poses we needed for some of the characters, or I'd pose or something. We did little short videos. I put something on my Facebook page, but um, it was really cool. Like I said, if it would have took off, the stories that we did, if they had took off, it would have been like this because we were trying to be, emulate what they were doing and get something going on, and it didn't. It just didn't work out. But um, it would have been really cool to put together a book or something like that with the stuff that we were doing and how we created the characters and what we were talking about because I did do a lot of that. When I was at conventions, I talked to people about how I created the characters and show them drawings and give them, if they wanted a sketch or something like that, it was really cool. Maybe I'll have to go through that myself and talk about it and do something myself about it about a book that could have possibly came to be, but who knows, it could be something now, I could do something now, we'll see. Transformers, this is number 36, that's a cool character. Okay. Available in October, Sea of Rust, Part 3. The Autobots are outnumbered and surrounded in Termag Termagax's base with Decepticons on one side and the most dangerous Cybertronian environment on the other. With an incredibly powerful artifact on the line, one that could turn the tide of the war in their favor, can the Autobots withstand the siege? I've been watching this show on TV or on Netflix right now. They're going after the AllSpark and they're trying to find it, and, and Bumblebee is helping them. If this is the same thing, 
it's, it seems similar because they, they were going to try to navigate the Sea of Rust and they got help from a, a defector of the Decepticons and everything. So we'll, we'll see. I have to watch the rest of it, see what's going on. Here's Transformers Beast number nine. Beast Wars number nine. Ooh, look at him. A turtle. Okay. Comes out in October. Thicker skin. The Predacons begin their hunt for other fallen protoform pods containing potential reinforcements in their quest to crush the Maximals. But Scold, the Predacon powerhouse, is left behind because she'll, she'll slow the mission down, at least according to Pterosaur. <laughs> when Scold encounters a pod on her own, it'll be up to her to bring it to the Predacon side or put it down for good. All right. What will she do? Transformers King Grimlock, number three of five. Okay. Grimlock. This comes out in October. 36 pages, a little bit longer there. King Grimlock, rampages on. Confronted by the ghoulish host of the Red Wizard's army, Grimlock leads a band of villagers into a war against their ruler. But all is not what it seems near the Red Wizard's compound. Will Grimlock lead them to freedom or destruction? Oh, Grimlock, be careful. Transformers Shattered Glass number three of five. Okay, there's a lot of, a lot of um, Transformers books coming out. Well, this is coming out in October. Shattered Glass isn't your average Transformers tale. Shards is the story of the ongoing battle between the power-hungry Autobot Autocrats and the freedom-fighting Decepticon laborers. Join Arthur, Danny Lore, James Bond, King in Black, Captain America, Champions, and exploring this fractured alternate universe just before it shatters. In issue three, Starscream seeks out more Decepticons to prevent another war that could destroy Cybertron. But memories of the past haunt every, sh every step. As the Autobots close in, Starscream must decide between peace for his planet and his former best friend. Are they trying to make... Starscream seem more civil? Mm. Like he's a real guy? A real robot? We shall see with, with compassion. I don't know. We'll see. Because everybody's got friends. Even if you, 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 everybody knows people. You know people that you look at and go, I don't like that person. Or I like that person. Or why does that person not talk? Why are they so quiet all the time? I don't like them. They get on my nerves. Y you know. Everybody does it. We all do it. I try my best not to do it because I know better. I'm old enough now to sit there and go, they act that way for a reason. There's got to be something up. See them the way God wants you to see them and uh, hopefully have some type of relationship where if you need them, you can talk to them then. But if they don't want to talk anymore, I'm okay. Cool. Have a great day. All right. But here we go. Transformers Beast Wars, Volume 1. Here we go. Look at that cover. Wow. Spotlight, 144 pages, comes out in January. Wow, wow, the thing to 2022 is coming. Celebrate 25 years of Beast Wars, the Maximals and the Predacons are back in this all new series. In the beginning came the beast and all that creeps, crawl, crawls and flies, but nature lies. They're, ro they're robots in disguise. With this one line, a whole new generation of Transformers toys and fans were created. Now, 25 years later, an all-new series brings your favorite characters back. In the future, the planet Cybertron belongs to the scientific-minded Maximals and the action oriented Predacons. When a crew of Predacons, led by the successor to the Megatron name, steals a golden disc and a ship capable of traveling through time, whoa, it's up to Optimus Primal and his Maximal crew, Rap Trap, Rhinox, Cheetor, and new character Nick, Nix. To catch them, collects issues one through six. Savage Landing. Wowzy, wow, wow, wow. Okay, now we got a Usagi Yojimbo, number 23. Stan Sakai. Okay. Bad guy. From 2021, Eisner Award nominee, Stan Sakai. Ransom, part two of three, 
Kiyoko has been kidnapped and is held for ransom by boss Hosegawa, Hosegawa. He wants the ledger of bribes that Kitsune had stolen. Usagi, Yukichi, and Kitsune know they would be walking into a trap, but they find aid from a very unexpected source. Or do they? How far can they trust someone they know will betray them? Wow, that'd be hard. Okay, now we got Usagi Yujimbo, the Dragon Belo the Dragon Bellow Conspiracy, number five of six. Let's look at the cover here. Cool. All right, this comes out in October, and so is the other one. Okay, this is um, one of Usagi's most classic and epic adventures reaches its penultimate chapter. As a castle is sieged to prevent a revolt against the Shogun, Usagi and friends must make a desperate gambit to prevent the land from des descending into war. Not everyone will survive the mighty struggle that ensues. Okay. Okay, now we just got a few games here. I'm just gonna flip through and show you this. This is Batman, the animated series, Rogues Gallery game. Here's Ghostbuster, Men in Black, Eco Terrestrial, Invasion. Then we got Batman, the animated series, Shadow of the Bat. And here we have Galaxy Hunters. And this one is Galaxy Hunters, New, New Ways to Hunt Expansion. And the last one here, Batman, the animated series, Arkham Asylum. Summer 2021 release, it says. So, these are pretty good. All right, that's it for that. Let me know what you'll be getting. IDW has a few books that I'm going to be picking up. I like this stuff. So, it's really cool. Some of the stuff that they got coming out looks really nice. So, uh, let me know what you're going to be getting. Um, like and subscribe and comment and do all that good stuff and everything. I know it helps my channel and everything and help me get up to uh, like 1,100 subscribers because the more I get, the more uh, contests going to be doing. I'm going to be announcing something else too because I'm going to be doing a few more contests, one one a week uh, as until I reach like 1,100. I give away like one prize or two prizes a week or something like that. I want I want to do something to continue to keep creating stuff because I, I like giving stuff away. I've been finding so many cool books. So I'm going to do another video to talk about that soon. But thank you very much for watching, guys, and tell your friends and everything, and this is going to be very cool. I'm going to have fun the rest of this year. You guys have a great day, great week, and Collected Dude is out.